Hello beautiful Scorpios, we're getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about your love interest and your love life at this time. Let's see romance angels for Scorpio. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's see. Okay, flirt. Okay, good. Scorpio, you're good at flirting. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so some history there maybe in your family that has an influence currently. So let's see what else. One more romance. Oh, I guess we have one. Okay, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. So let's see what we have. We're going to do two spreads of cards. The first one's going to be an energy look at the overall, um, the overall energy past present for you and your person. And then we're going to take a look at past present future in terms of predicting what's going to happen and what's going on. Okay. Oh, look at this. You've had fun. Ooh, Scorpio. I like that energy. Pisces energy. All about eat, drink, be merry, enjoy life. Life is short. Live to the fullest. You and your person really have a super strong attraction. The Seven of Cups. Okay, so Scorpio, that is your energy. The Seven of Cups is all about not being sure. So it does look like for many of you, this is a new acquaintance, a new opportunity, one that you, you don't really have the answers, and that is mutual energy. So both of you felt that moment of meeting was fantastic, and right now both of you are looking to see what will happen next. Ooh, the strength card, gorgeous. Your person, Scorpio, has Leo energy, fixed sign energy like you. Once they give their heart, they give it big. So to speak, that is a strength card is a card that says your person can really go the distance in a relationship and they see you as a possible candidate, Scorpio. The way they view you as somebody that they would like to get to know better as someone with whom they would like to know well enough to really be able to master the relationship and grow the relationship. Throwing caution to the winds, that is very, it's fun energy. It's all, it also just says willing to take the risk, willing to step into something. And I love the energy here around you. This is very, very nice. This looks like a nice person and you aren't very deeply into the relationship. Now, this can also be a new beginning in a an old relationship. So let's see, what. how does your person view this situation going forward? Well, they are studying you on social media. They're watching what you post. It is a way for this person to get to know you. It looks as though they will be in communication with you. It's really, it's fun energy. Look at this. The mutual energy between the two of you is coming in as the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. I'm going to go ahead and put these cards down also because they all flipped together. Look at that. Oh, you have Leo energy here again. That is about sex. That's about fun. But I love Leo energy. This is a Leo king. And with the strength card, this relationship is powerful. Powerful. The Ace of Cups is a new love, a new love relationship. The Three of Cups says that you probably met through friends or around friends. The Hermit card really speaks to the fact that both of you are very picky. You want what you want. You're both very enlightened. You're both very thoughtful people. And you're both thinking about this relationship a great deal, Scorpio. Look at this. Spirit is saying go for it. That is a planet. That is the Empress card ruled by Venus, all about the love, all about the beauty, all about the sweetness, all about the the joy of love. Look at this. Well, you're both a little bit guarded. You both have a little bit. That's okay, especially in a new relationship. It just means that you've both had some 
some life under your belt and that you're very aware that you need to step into this correctly. I love the energy for the two of you. Look at that. Your outcome is making love all night long. Lots of communication, lots of texting, lots of fun. Sagittarius energy, throwing caution to the winds and look at what else popped over. No lying. There's no lying in love. There's no lying in building a new relationship. I love the Seven of Swords reversed. It speaks to the fact that both of you have had people in the past who lied to them that took apart relationships and now coming into this energy both of you are just blunt and honest and real with each other Scorpio gorgeous no need to clarify any of that all right so let's look and see past present future where the relationship is headed sort of background information history you know history helps us predict the future so let's look and see in the recent past so we're going to look at recent past current energy and future and do some predictive work here so let's see what we have here for scorpio Okay. Ooh, rushing in. So the minute you met each other, there was an instant attraction. It looks as though it could, oh wow, it could have also been an event that had some sadness to do with it. It does look like it was a time when you met each other, it was a time of incredible thoughtfulness. I have to say that there is a possibility that that you may have met this person at some sort of an event where there was a celebration of life for somebody that had crossed over, unfortunately. I know that's going to be only for, obviously, you know, one person out there in the whole wide world. But it would have been a situation that would have been unexpected. People would rush in, share their sadness, uh, be alone in the enlightenment, going to the top of the mountain. You know, that sort of thing. Judgment card says, Scorpio, that your person thinks that you are profoundly, incredibly beautiful. That is Scorpio energy. It's And it is a release, you know, releasing something. So it was a very, uh, very somber moment, even though there was a lot of attraction at that time. I'm getting the two of you... Um, you know, when you met, really, really gravitating towards each other um, at a time when it would have been unusual. But it was very enjoyable. It was very appropriate to the situation. It was a celebration. Here I have the death card. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Okay. Again, this could be, you know, the death card means death and rebirth. It could be both of you having maybe lost somebody recently also in your lives. And it, it came into play that you may have had a talk with this person about it. The Pisces energy is the 12th house energy, the endings energy um, at the time that you met. So again, I really think, oh my gosh, this is such a, okay. So this relationship obviously is not, it was born, it was very Scorpio, death and rebirth. The death of maybe a beloved person, but the rebirth of new life in relationship. This is a wild reading. All right, so let's see what else we have here for the current energy. The Four of Cups says that it looks the, as though the two of you have not been talking enough. There hasn't been enough communication. I feel as though both of you are waiting for the other one to, to reach out. Okay, so what's the future? Okay, guarded optimism. You know, staying in your power. So let's look at the clarifiers on this. Let's see what Spirit is saying. Because this is a beautiful energy. And it looks as though the, the circumstances may have thrown this into a little bit of like, well, what now? You know, there's some awkwardness here. So let's see what we have. Oh, uh, I like it. You really saw each other as very attractive. Let's see, what were you both releasing? Moving forward, oh my gosh. Releasing something turbulent in the past. The Justice card says, you know, releasing into more balance 
in a situation in terms of your love life, the energy you're bringing into relationships. But again, this really does mean moving forward. This is very symbolic. This could be, you know, this is like the, well, anyway, I'm not going to go into it. I said it once. Okay. So why is, why was it the Neptune Pisces card here? It was an event in which dear, dear friends got together, but it was a sober event. And one that was deeply emotional. Oh, interesting. It really falls into line. That's a really sort of almost straightforward reading. Uh, so what we see here is grieving over somebody who was a foundation in everyone's life. You know, we get this energy that says that the foundation for the two of you is very strong that the common ground that you have allows you to get to know each other better. I like it. The Eight of Coins, using this energy to move forward in a grounded way, getting to know you, getting to know about all about you. Eight of Wands, passion. The Four of Cups, again, is clarifying the Four of Cups. So I want to see something else here. Let's get one card that tells us about why the Four of Cups is here. I feel as though there, you're not really chatting as much as you should. Release, okay. Releasing something from the past, uh, focusing on one another. So this is very much a relationship born of of act it's double it's it's a very dual meaning here it says that you met each other while you were releasing um it looks like a loved one a mutual loved one and yet it also speaks to the scorpio energy that it's symbolic of what's happening in your hearts with love oh that's powerful that is really beautiful okay so why is the hermit card here in the future why is the hermit card here let's see the hanged man oh good so both of you are thinking about each other and you're coming out of this sort of sad energy the hanged man reversed is actually taking action yep the hanged man reverse means that the thoughtful period of do I want to, do I or don't I want to begin this relationship is over. Look at this Hierophant energy. That's your seventh house Scorpio. Hierophant is Taurus energy. It says that you're really going to take the leap of faith. You're both going to be um, cool, calm, collected, uh, but there's a lot of passion here. Look at it. So there's a lot of passion, but you're going to be cautious. You're going to be careful. You both want a victory. So let's see what Spirit is giving you for the overall advice in this relationship. It looks like a, a new beginning that was quite unusual, um, but it looks beautiful. Masculine energy. Ooh, really good yin-yang energy here. So we see beauty oh your masculine finds you exquisite or if you're the masculine then um, your person finds you exquisite abundance an abundance of love is going to be born oh <laughs> extremes of passion whatever that could mean so it looks as though you will have a very beautiful experience with this person. The yin-yang energy is very powerful. You see each other as a beautiful spirit, as a beautiful person, physically, emotionally. There's so much abundance and love available. And the extremes, ooh, extremes of passion. Okay, so you're going to color outside the line, Scorpio. All right, leaving it there. Send me a love. Send some back and tell me where you're from.